Given the following field notes for a differential leveling, all units are in meters. So you have the table of your differential leveling observations. And these are uh, put in into a table form or tabulated form. So we have one, two, three, four, five columns where station one, I mean stations in the first column, backside is on the second column, and height of instrument is on the third column, and uh, foresight is in the fourth column, and finally the fifth one is the elevation of each stations. Now, you have almost all the information, so it's very easy for you to, to solve the unknowns. So letter or number one, the question is, what is the value of x? All right, without, without uh, minding v and w, you don't actually need to solve for v and w since the question is only x. Right, so you can simply solve the value of x by looking at these uh, values on the on the station B, right? So you all know that backside plus the elevation is equals to height of instrument or height of instrument. So let's solve this solution. Okay, from the basic formula, backside plus the elevation is equals to the height of instrument. Okay, so if you are going to add x plus the elevation, it will give you the height of instrument. So from here, you can compute for the backside. Backside is just a height, the height of instrument less the elevation of that station. Okay. So it's BS. All right. So backside is equals to uh, 234.3 minus the elevation, which is 233.87. Okay. So the answer here is 0 0.43. And it's letter D. Okay. So next we have letter B. I mean, number two. So let's take out this. So number two is, what is the value of y? So here, uh, it's asking us to solve for the value of y. Now, the same procedure that you have to do, write down the formula, backside plus the elevation is equal to the height of instrument. Right, so you don't need to transpose any any um, terms here. You just simply substitute the value. So your foresight is zero point forty five plus the elevation of that station, which is two hundred thirty one point thirty four. So that will be your height of instrument. So therefore, height of instrument is equals to, okay, 231.79. So 231.79. That is letter A. Okay. So that's for letter A. All right, so next, let's go to number three requirement. So we have, uh, what is the value of Z? So we are asked to answer the value of, of Z. All right, so 
we are going to solve for the elevation of the next station. So therefore, uh, if you're going to, to um, but here, class, no, it's it can be easily solved because uh, the same procedure that you have to follow. So this is box height plus uh, the elevation equals to height of instrument. So you're trying to get the height of the, I mean, the elevation of the station E. Since you already have the height of instrument, so you don't have to worry because uh, backside plus the, the I mean, the backside plus elevation is equal to height of instrument. So you can get the elevation here. So elevation is simply equal to height of instrument minus the backside. Now, you just transpose this term into the other side. That will become negative. So you, uh, what is left on the left side is your elevation. So you can solve for the z so elevation now which is the z right is just simply equal to the height of instrument okay less the backside because backside is given okay 0 0.76 so the answer is All right, so answer is 229.229.29. Let me check it. Uh, 230.20. 3 less 0 0.76. Okay, that is 229.47. 229.47. And that is letter B. All right, so there is another way to solve uh, Z. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, if you see here in station D, so if you are in the station D, so let's say your station D here is here. Okay, so you have the back side and you want to transfer to another station. So let's say this is station D. Okay, so you want to transfer to, let's say, to another station, right? So you... What you need to do is to foresight it. Okay, so this is your backsight and this is your foresight. So your foresight is, so let's say here. Okay, now this is letter E. This, this, um, height of instrument if you want to get the elevation of this of this turning point or of this station you have to subtract the height of instrument to the foresight so it means this height of instrument has to be subtracted to this foresight and this height of instrument has to be subtracted to this foresight and this height of instrument has to be subtracted to this foresight and this one too and of course finally this one all right so if you are going to subtract the height of instrument of station d you are going to get the height of i mean the elevation of your turning point right so let's say height of instrument here is so let's say you have this is your height of instrument. Okay. So height of instrument is 
letter Y, which is 231.34, I 30, uh, 231.79 that we have computed it here, right? 231.79. So this is 231.79. Now, if you subtract this, this is the foresight. This is going to be 231.79 less foresight. So that is equal to, let me check. Okay, so this is 231.79 less 2.32. Okay, so this is actually the height of your, the elevation of your uh, point here, which is 229.47. Oh, by the way, this is letter D. This is letter D. Okay. This is letter D. All right. So, the height of instrument minus the foresight will give you the, uh, the elevation of station E. Okay. So, this is your station E. That is your turning point. Okay. So, this is your... Instrument setups, set up uh, one, two, okay. And the rod, where, where the rod is placed is actually your station. Okay, so this is how you get 2 to 9.47 in this way. So you can also subtract Y. Okay, so you can also do this way. So what, uh, Z is equals to the elevation or the height of instrument less the foresight. So height of instrument is the Y. So Y minus foresight. So this is where you get 229.47. So this is 231.79. Less... At uh, 2.32. So Z is equals to 229.47. So this is another way to solve uh, item number three. Okay, so I'll see you on my next video for the second problem.